another ancient greek thinker perhaps a student of thales was anaximander according to anaximander the earth was shaped like a cylinder a cylinder as you know has two flat surfaces both perfectly circular disks we on the earth happen to be standing on one of those flat surfaces the surface on the top on this flat surface lies both the landmass of the earth and the ocean surrounding the landmass the other flat surface is under us on the opposite face of the cylinder the height of the cylinder this length over here the height of the cylinder is one third of the diameter of the cylinder the entire cylinder is floating in empty space and is at rest why is it at rest why isn't it falling down through the empty space let's look at this passage from aristotle's on the heavens according to aristotle there are some anaximander for instance among the ancients who say that the earth keeps its place because of its indifference motion upward and downward and sideways were all they thought equally inappropriate to that which is set at the center and indifferently related to every extreme point and to move in contrary directions at the same time was impossible so it must needs remain still in other words the cylinder is at rest because it is at the center of the universe perhaps a spherical universe and there is no particular reason why the cylinder would move in any single direction because in this perfectly symmetrical cosmos there is no reason for the cylinder which is at the center to move in this direction and not in this direction or that direction every possible direction of movement is equally preferable and so there is no direction that can be preferred overall and so the cylindrical earth stays at rest